Welcome. Oh, so I better uh, make sure my volume's properly adjusted. Uh, to the Death Battle React. Today we got a special treat. It is a mythology battle. It's mm, they're actually doing mythology, just stepping out of their comfort zone for once. And I'm actually excited, so let's actually see who wins this. And hopefully they got the mythology tales right, so, uh... Yeah, if you want to see the original video, it'll be in the description. So it's Hercules vs. Sun Wukong. Wait, before we go begin, we have to, we have to see this in maximum quality. Hmm. We deserve to see those frames in maximum quality. Like I said, the original video will be in the description. Hercules, the god of strength. Sun Wukong, the monkey king. Myth has many heroes, but few overcome their past to become legendary. And maybe inspire some comics and anime to boot. He's where's an am boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's see if they get the research right. He's the man, the myth, the legend, he's Hercules! Stories of Hercules exist in many iterations, but we'll examine the earliest the known Arnold accounts, Schwarzenegger the legend film. of Heracles. No Disney zero to hero, just the classic yeah. Greek myth. And like most ancient Greek stories, it began with Zeus being a total creep. The god of thunder did yeah. his thing with a princess by disguising himself as her husband. Oh, what the hell, man? And thus a demigod was born, who was named... Alkaos. But Hera was pretty pissed Zeus had cheated on her. Okay, yeah. ba -ba 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 shush, 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 shush. One second. What did that say? In some iterations and adaptations of Hercules' story, he was originally named Alcides. Was born. Who was named Alkaos. But Hera was pretty pissed Zeus had cheated on her yet again. So Alkaos' human parents renamed him in her honor. Yep. Heracles means glory to Hera. Too bad she had already made yeah, up her mind, Heracles. though, and that kid was gonna pay. The child would need some way to survive. Let's see here. Okay, shush for one second. Heracles, Greek god of strength. 6'2", 208, birthday, November 10, 1286. Born Alkaos, son of Zeus and Alchemy. Founder of the Olympic Games. One of the Argonauts. Father of 51 children. So far, they got the lore accurate. Hera's wrath. So the goddess of heroes carried out a plan that was, frankly, insane. Athena tricked Hera into nursing the baby Heracles, and her milk gave him supernatural strength unbound, even beyond many of the gods themselves. So strong that he hurt her and caused her to spray milk all over the place like a boob sprinkler, which in turn created the galaxy. Yep. That's why we call it the Milky Way. Oh god, I'm never eating one of those candy bars again. With his godlike power, Heracles became a fierce warrior trained by the finest instructors in all of Greece. Unfortunately, he wasn't without problems. While he was a natural at boxing, wrestling, fencing, and so much more, he struggled in the arts. He even had a fit and accidentally killed his music teacher. Little did Heracles know this was a sign Oof. of the tragedy to come. Many years later, as his name began to be synonymous with the term hero, he murdered his wife, Princess Megara, and their sons. Yeah, Hera had magically driven him into a kill frenzy rage, but that didn't excuse it for Herc. His guilt was there. Desperate to atone, he sought guidance from the Oracle of Delphi and learned his path to redemption. He would submit himself yep. to King Eurystheus that's, and perform for him ten grueling that's labors. Part of the, myth. the guy was a D-bag, but Herc did what he had to, and through his struggles, built a killer arsenal. For his that first labor, he was Hercules tasked is. with slaying a lion whose hide could not be pierced by any blade. So Herc just beat the lion to death with his bare hands and took the belt as armor for himself. He defeated a flock of metal man-eating birds with Cortalas so loud no living thing could bear the noise. He battled a multi-headed hydra cauterizing its necks after each decapitation so the abilities, heads would not grow back. Ba ba abilities in arsenal, so boundless strength, nigh absolute invulnerability, superhuman speed, its arrows coated in hydra blood, bronze crotalus, golden falchion, war club, and 
the Nemean Lion's Pelt, armored that no blade can pierce. So far, they're getting everything pretty much accurate. Back. A lot of sliced off heads meant a lot of blood spilled, and Hydra blood is extra poisonous. Even gods fear it, so Herc dipped his arrows in the stuff for later use. Like when he used them to take out centaurs, titans, and even the sun! Uh, sort of. The details of the smith differ, but in some versions, Heracles was so fed up with the desert heat, he fired an arrow at the sun, the physical embodiment of the god Helios. I guess that's one way to cool off. Take that, global warming! To reach the sun, his arrow would have to fly <laughs> 90 times faster than light. The maximum draw weight of a typical recurve bow is about 40 pounds, Hercules shooting an arrow 300 feet per second. Shooting one as faster an than light, light would require strength incomprehensible to mortals such as us. Anyway, Hurt completed his labors, but the king was a sore loser and axed two of them for cheating because Hurt was a lot more clever than he expected. Heracles received two more tasks, one of which required he retrieve the golden apples of Hesperides, which ironically originally belonged to Hera. As part of his plan, Heracles would temporarily take on the role of the Titan Atlas as bearer of the heavens. That sounds exhausting. More than you think, dummy. While modern art often portrays Atlas carrying a globe, the Greeks perceived his burden as a celestial sphere. This would mean Heracles supported the weight of not just the Earth, but the whole universe. <laughs> like, I'm holding up this entire show. The common view of the time was that the universe was endless. So yeah, during the late 5th century to mid 6th centuries BCE, great philosophers theorized that the beginning of reality wasn't eternal in scale, Thales and Miltus and Anaximander's concepts of infinity most likely contributed to this. Chaos, the primordial origin of everything, was boundless, meaning Heracles held up the weight of conceptual infinity. Luckily, Herc's got one hell of a drive to persevere. Let's see here. Slay Ood and the, Mini the Nemean Lion and the Lernian Hydra. Built the Pyrrhus of Hercules. Well, more like he... What was it? He broke the mountain with his sword. And it... The ground with the sword and it crossed a, a cliffside to crack building the Pillars of Hercules. But, uh, yeah. That, that depends on how you t interpret it. So far, they actually got everything correct. Uh, anyways, uh, continue... Held up Atlas, Celestial Sphere, shot at Helios, and Bonnie of the Sun. Not a lot of people mention that feat. Conquered Troy, Sparta, Phyllis, and Ellis. Captured the Ernian Hind. Defeated Antaeus, Sycanus, Nessus, Thanatos, Hippolyta, and the Amazons. Wounded and defeated Ares, the god of war. He also wrestled the wrestled Cerberus into submission and brought him up to the surface. Make amends, like when he met King Admetus, he got to party it up and was too drunk to realize the king was in a really bad state because his wife had just died. Reminds me of someone. Can't imagine who. Well, Herc felt bad, so he decided to make it up to his bro by literally beating up the god of death until he returned Admetus' wife. And that's true best friend material. Whiz. Heracles frequently surprised others with his wit, particularly with finding solutions hidden in plain sight. For example, when he wrestled Antaeus, a giant who was invincible so long as his feet were on the ground, Heracles simply picked him up and strangled him in the air. Even giants and the god of death couldn't end his story. Instead, he was tricked into putting on a shirt covered in that Hydra blood, and it totally screwed him up. What a BS way to go. Yet, yeah, also a testament to how a contest of power could not defeat him. Racked with unbearable pain and burning at a pyre, Heracles called to the deities who had watched his story unfold. And so, as his mortal form returned to ash, Heracles ascended to Mount Olympus. Where he was welcomed as the god of strength. Even Hera lightened up. His life may have been one of strife and struggle, but on that day, all the world was left in awe of the legend of Heracles. Yep, that's pretty much what Herc's story is. Now for some Wukong. There once was a mighty monkey warrior, born of a mystic stone from the energy of the sun and moon. 
Upon birth, he graciously bowed to the cardinal directions and- Shot lasers from his eyes! Strap in, folks, this one's a doozy! This monkey soon befriended a band of other primates and rather narcissistically named himself their handsome monkey king. But after a few centuries of monkeying about, he got a taste of the dreaded midlife crisis! Yeah, so, uh, Samuel Khan, the handsome monkey king, height 4-0, 121 centimeters, age, oof, 1,100 years, other titles, great sage, coin heaven, victorious fighting Buddha, originally from the novel Journey to the West, first printed in 1592, Japanese name, yes, and for those who are wondering, really, his name's actually Son Goku in Japanese? No, really. It is. You see, the Monkey King was fierce and brave, yet he feared death. So he ventured to new lands in search of immortality. Turns out he'd find a lot of it. Training under the Taoist master Puti, he earned his first method of immortality and a new name. Oh, he yeah, would the, be the Black Monkey Wukong Awakened to the game. Void, I forget spoken what it's actually as called. Sun Wukong. He also learned a bunch of magic. He yeah. can ride clouds, make thousands of clones, heal from fatal wounds like decapitation, and transform into basically anything. A bird, some vapor, a pitchfork, even an incredible fighting tail. This technique is called 72 Earthly Transformations. The scope of Sun Ku Wukong's shifting is limited to only by his imagination. The number actually references a collection of stars that the power is associated with. Okay. With his famous cloud somersault, he could traverse the world at incredibly high speed. At first, a single somersault could carry him 108,000 li, li being a traditional Chinese unit equal to about 500 meters, making one somersault move 54,000 kilometers per second fast enough to circle the entire earth in one leap and he'd only get faster from there monkey would do whatever it took to here. prove uh, 72 earthly transformations cloud somersault fiery golden eyes can this this current any illusion or disguise healing and regeneration seven means of immortality magic body freezing spell fire avoidance charm flying spell lock breaking spell protective circle of invincibility invisibility i almost said invincibility there but i'll let that slide Water avoid avoidance charm and various other spells. Prove he was the best of the best. When fighting the mighty deity Prince Nocha, his foe transformed into a more powerful visage with three heads and six arms. But Sun was like, hey, I can do that too, and then did just that. Sun Wukong eventually returned to his simian subjects and with his newfound power, amassed a veritable army. However, he felt no weapon in their arsenal suited him. So he barged into the Dragon King's palace and demanded he hand over a weapon worthy of a king who could match the power of heaven. Yeah, Sun was pretty full of himself, but okay. he- Some translations claim the go this golden hooped rod measured to- measured or held up to the galaxy, but these are incorrect. It was originally used to gauge the depth of the Great Flood, a story regarding the rise of the na dynastic China. He wound up taking a pillar yeah, that, that, originally that, designed to measure the depths of is. the ocean. What seemed like a worthless rod to the Dragon King was actually the perfect weapon for Wukong, weighing nearly eight tons. Cloud the Rui Jingu. Uh, hang on. Cloud stepping shoes, golden chain mail, golden headband, phoenix feather crown, Ryu Jingu Bane can shrink. Ryu Jingu Bane. Sorry, I'm not great at pronouncing na names. My Chinese is a little rusty. Uh, but I am familiar with the tail, so can shrink and extend indefinitely, made of a magic iron, weight 7,960 kilograms, 17,548 pounds. Sleep insects can instantly put victims to sleep. Bang can change size at his whim. It can shrink to the size of a needle or grow long enough to pierce the heavens. The same heavens that got Brady mad with son after he crossed his name out of the ledger of death, making himself double immortal. Wait, how does that work? And even more mad when he demanded to be formally acknowledged as the great sage equal to heaven. Okay, we've got a headstrong goofball who quickly masters new powers and wants a fancy title. This is just shown in anime. Now, the Monkey King may have lashed yeah. out, but it was because when he requested a place in heaven, a place he truly believed he deserved, the Jade Emperor's court reduced him to a stable boy. 
Beneath all his antics, he what Sun wanted most was to prove him himself. There Even with all anime. the shenanigans, the Jade Emperor remained cautious and willing to placate Wukong. By making him the watchdog of the Garden of Immortal Peaches. He totally ate that shit, didn't he, Wiz? Oh yeah, Wukong got hammered, ate most of the peaches, ran around the Jade Palace in a fit, and found five gourds of immortality pills, which he promptly swallowed. All of them. Okay, so that makes how many layers of immortality now? I'd say a few hundred? Thousand? If you count each individual peach and pill. When he sobered up, he knew he was in serious trouble. So, naturally, he prepared for war. Wow, that escalated quickly. What are they gonna do? Kill him? So, the Monkey King proved too strong for heaven. He battled all their best fighters and even matched Erlong Shan blow for blow in an epic battle of transformation. Yeah. He's that guy with the third eye. And heaven's greatest holy warrior. Yet, no matter Erlong's form, Wukong always had a counter. Until Lao Tzu threw in a convenient plot MacGuffin that captured the monkey. But even with Wukong in chains, Heaven had a problem. He just wouldn't die! Lightning, fire, even Lao Tzu's de-immortalizing furnace just made the monkey stronger! Now, Wukong is not invincible. He has been hurt by the scorpion demoness's poison, which could even harm the Buddha, an awakened divine being liberated from the cycle of life and death entirely. Now tell me, how painful is that? Pain is all in the mind, and I am absent of mind. Oh, God! Oh, no, I was wrong! It's bad! It's really, really, really bad! Oh, God, make it stop! Uh, but even after all that, Sun had one more challenger to contend with. The Buddha himself! Buddha approached Wukong with a contest, leap out of his hand, and he could have the Jade Emperor's throne for himself. Having no impulse control, the monkey agreed, and in an instant somersaulted to the very edge of heaven. But he had already lost. Because Buddha achieved Nirvana, he transcended the world, literally holding all of existence. So even at the edge of the universe, Wukong technically never left his hand. For his rebellion, Sun was put in timeout, sealed under a mountain for 500 years. But even Sun Wukong would find a chance at redemption. In his case, he was tasked with escorting and protecting a monk, Tan Sung Zong, or Tripitaka, on a journey to the west. With additional companions Pigsy and Sandy, the trip was a tough one, and Monkey abandoned it more than once. But through it all, he always returned to shine as the group's That's powerhouse. Here. Made a hurricane with produce with the size of mountains, forged an alliance with demon and spirit kings, destroyed the five phases mountain, held up M Mount Sumeru and Mount Ime, leapt to the edge of heaven in an instant, survived the yellow wind demon, King Storm, defeated Prince Neza, Princess Iron Fane, defeated King of Confusion and Immortal Ryui. Saving Trippy Taka's life many, many times. Seriously, this guy could not stay out of trouble. It's like whiz at a blind date. M. Wukong has cracked apart mountains, slayed hundreds of monsters, and survived the yellow wind demon storm that could destroy the universe. As in heaven, earth, the 18 layers of hell, and more. That's cool and all, Wiz, but let's answer the real question. Okay, the storm depicted differently across translation, but. The storm is depicted differently across translations, but the original Chinese text uses I can't read that, meaning universe, <laughs> or more literally every manifestation of nature. So yeah, see, my Chinese is a little bit rusty. Can he beat Goku? Um, maybe. During his uh, journey, Wukong yeah. performed possibly his most legendary Sometimes feat, the inspiration isn't Mount always the best. Sumeru, Goku was which, in Wukong. traditional Mahayana Buddhism, is a mountain supporting the infinite cosmic sky. And Sun just hauled it around on one shoulder! Just one! Because on his other shoulder was a whole other mountain! After 14 years of travel, the journey was complete, and Wukong had finally accomplished a truly great deed. For this, he was given his long-awaited place among the heavens. As the victorious fighting Buddha! Now that's gotta be an anime. After so much time as a rebel, an outcast, and a truly unstoppable warrior, Sun Wukong had, at last, found his home. Yeah, that's pretty much all they, right, they got both are mythology set tales right, so all possibilities. It's time for a death Let's battle! See Wukong kick a Greek man's ass! <laughs> I am reacting. Our tale begins atop a great mountain where the mighty Heracles sought a gift from the gods. 
Oh there. Huh? I'm Alrighty. in need of that apple. Relinquish it. Sorry, it, I'm supposed to it find looks my really some vegetarian nice, food. Looks really nice. Even though I You'll wish it was hand drawn. Elsewhere. <sighs> but Heracles was not so easily fooled. <laughs> the Monkey King's strike rang true, but he not so easily overwhelmed the God of Strength. This looks really well animated. I think we just found our second thir our next 13 out of 10. I am Heracles! <laughs> <laughs> yep, multiple clones. <laughs> Die, demon. <laughs> The Monkey King fell into a strange forest, in awe at such a wondrous fight. But should he mistake his fear, he might lose his head. Woo! I haven't had such fun since I fought all of heaven! Chain! Behold me! The immortal Monkey King! <laughs> Multiple heads. Of course. Okay, that was funny. Uh, ah, multiple heads. Of course. <laughs> yeah, Hercules did actually fight someone with multiple heads in the mythology. Oh, Hercules. So yeah. You've had your fun, beast, but I've had enough. In heavens above, the gods witnessed their earthbound selves, and so joined in battle. Yep. The god of strength mustered the this heart actually, of Olympus, I think we have discovered our 13 out of 10. Our second Thus, 13 out of 10, to be honest. The Monkey King emerged victorious! Yep! Oh, would you look at Luke that? Lucon won. I struck him so hard he was reduced to nothingness. <laughs> With a formidable foe slain, stricken against the mountain's breast, so ends our great tale of East and West. That... Bravo. Now explain why he wins. Talk about a Herculean matchup! <laughs> Heracles was among the greatest heroes in myth. But the great sage equal to heaven held many more advantages. You'd think yeah. son might not measure up to the god of strength, you know, strength, but he totally could. Remember, he carried Sumeru on his back, the mountain holding up the infinite celestial sky, like how Heracles held up the infinite celestial sphere. As befitting heroes of myth, they were on par in that they were both incomprehensibly strong. However, Wukong's healing abilities meant he could yeah, bounce back Yeah, his from healing was a little bit more blows, ridiculous. Heracles did not have a similar option. But in terms Heracles of OP. did have one way of putting the Monkey King down. His arrows dipped in hydro poison. The hydro poison yeah, the hydro poison the would have worked Olympus, if similar to the scorpion sting. Whether or not it would be if fatal Wukong is was but it able could to have avoid him. Wukong and let's see here. While Wukong survived the scorpion sting, he needed help from another entity to rid his body of the poison. Similar to how it affected Heracles himself. But that is one very specific win condition, and we're looking at this with every possible option in mind. With his variety yeah. of clones, transformations, and numerous other spells, even Wukong's if it did hit him, that would have been like, one immortality layer him down. Making thousands of clones of himself and just sitting back while they beat up Herc for him. Unsportsmanlike, sure. In character, <laughs> absolutely. Even then, those arrows would have to actually strike Wukong, which would be extremely difficult. Yes, 
since in some depictions Heracles could potentially shoot the son of Helios, his arrows flying 90 times the speed of light. However, in his contest with the Buddha, Wukong leapt to the edge of the universe in a single second. To do so, he had to be moving yeah, over 1.4 quintillion times faster than light, like I said, making in some him way faster than her could ever hope to be. Heracles held might of myth- And like I said, in some depictions, Hercules actually wrestled Cerberus to a standstill and brought him up to the surface, frightening the, the townsfolk, and then Cerberus went back to Hades. Big proportions, but barring a lucky shot, yeah. Sun Wukong's versatile magic, similar strength, and I, absolutely like I absurd said, I think this is our, thir this our next 13 out of 10 episode. When fighting Sun Wukong, Heracles missed his chance. The winner is the Monkey King, Sun Wukong. Yep. I definitely need to check out that Thanks for watching. Sun Wukong game Wukong's whenever it comes next. out. If you can't wait, consider clicking that join button below to become a death battle member. You'll get exclusive badges, emotes, live chats, yeah, live yeah, streams. Yeah, 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 don't care. More. Who's next? <sighs> God damn it. I was hoping this battle wouldn't come. I was hoping Predator would be fighting the character that we've requested for years, but then Death Battle screwed everything up. That's right, look at Death Battle's failure and cry. <laughs> uh, great. This is going to be fun trying to predict who wins. All I know is that Predator has a lot of shit backing him up, but that doesn't mean Boba Fett has, has shit backing him up as well. So, this is going to be fun. I, I want to see... I, I'll do the prediction when I can, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> impressive fight, indeed. That was an impressive fight, indeed. Uh, Sun Wukong versus Hercules. I think this is our thir utter 13 out of 10. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed... Let's... Ah! Oh my god. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Uh, so yeah. And if you're wondering why I said god damn it, uh... That's because I'm a diehard Predator fan. And seeing the Predator fight Boba Fett... Well, is something I didn't want. And I know, and I said, and I said it before. Like I knew there was better matchups, and yeah, I knew knowing Death Battle, they weren't gonna look at connections, and be like, oh hey, let's pit Boba Fett against Predator instead of looking at an actual connection fight. All right, let's roll these credits. So yeah, the Sun Wukong versus Hercules. I think this is our uh, our second thirteen out of ten. I think this is another thirteen out of ten. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, original videos will be in the description. I will get ready to do the prediction to Boba Fett versus Predator. This is gonna be one hell of a doozy for me, and this probably might be my first loss. N knowing if Death Battle screws up the research. Uh, alrighty. I'll be back to for the prediction, so... Yay!